Well, good morning, friends. It's Pastor Jim, Pastor Kathy, and I are co-pastors here, right there at Christ Covenant Church in Harleysville, Pennsylvania. We invite you uh, to join us for worship this coming Sunday, and we invite you to invite others to join us uh, for worship as well. And that can be in person in the sanctuary at 1030, or maybe you want to have a watch party of our service later on in the day. That would be a great idea as well. Hey, today is... 2-22-2022 when uh, Pastor Kathy just said all kinds of people are getting married today like at 2 o'clock you know two people you know getting married and all kinds of things I don't know if uh, you're watching this on Facebook uh, if you're doing something fun for that 2-22-2022 day today why don't you uh, leave a comment you know in the in the comments below there that would be great uh, today we're continuing in our Covenant Week of Prayer devotional series. Uh, our denomination, the Evangelical Covenant Church, has a week of prayer every year, and sometimes we use those as a serve as a sermon series, uh, all kinds of things. And this year, the series is called "Free, Free." And you might recall that you could go to covchurch.org/slash two zero two two prayer if you want to see this in color or look at it yourself. Uh, we're looking at all kinds of ways we can be free, uh, and our Love, Mercy, Do Justice mission priority is also uh, connecting in and linking in some things about uh, helping people become free from the scourge of human trafficking, whether they are uh, being trafficked or the traffickers. And so uh, all of our writers for this week, uh, this series, have been involved somehow in human trafficking and because of that they're just going with their first names you know a little bit of uh, privacy anonymity but today it's called free to rebuild is our title for today free to rebuild and the verse that we've got right here putting on the reading glasses is uh, Isaiah 61 7 and 8 because their shame was double and dishonor was proclaimed as their lot therefore they shall possess a double portion, everlasting joy shall be theirs. How cool is that? Everlasting joy. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing, and I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Our author today, her name is Mary, and Mary serves with Amira, that's A-M-I-R-A-H, Amira Incorporated, which exists to provide aftercare, resources, and opportunities to women who have survived sexual exploitation, sex trafficking, and prostitution. Mary writes this for us today under the title of Free to Rebuild. Isn't it nice to hear those birds? In Isaiah 61, the people of Israel have just returned to Jerusalem from their nearly 50-year exile in Babylon. They are trying to rebuild the city, their economy, the temple, and their community back to what it was before they were taken away. But it turned out to be far more difficult than they expected. Israel was in shambles. The people were frustrated and embarrassed by their failure to rebuild and their inability to to resolve the economic, political, and religious fractures in Israel. They were tired and losing hope. But we're tired and lose we're tired, right? But we do not lose hope. They were free to rebuild, but how? To thrive in their freedom, they needed an identity shift. We can look around our world today and see destruction, ruin, and pain in individual lives and in entire communities and countries. Isaiah 61 offers the promise of hope out of the rubble, inviting us to trade our ashes for a garland, our despair for hope, and to adopt a love of justice that will bring freedom to others. We can do things that bring freedom to others, she's saying. We are more than the sum of our experiences, and with this hope, the Israelites can face the impossible task in front of them and rebuild. When we come out of the other side of horrible experiences, it can be easy to let those experiences define us. We reduce ourselves to what happened or what we can no longer do. This makes the healing and rebuilding process challenging as we start to believe it's not possible. It's not worth it, or more specifically, that we are not worth it. Lies, lies, lies. 
I have struggled with my identity for years, defining myself but what, by what someone else did to me, free from abuse, but captive to my ruins. Remember that hymn from Sunday, right? Uh, oh, for a thousand tongues to sing, he breaks the power of canceled sin. He sets the prisoner free. If we believe we are nothing more than the rubble around us, we miss all that Jesus has for us. You, my friend, you, my friend, are more than the sum of your experiences. God defines you, not by what has happened to you, but by who God created you to be. Worthy, honored, cherished, valued, loved, and free. You are freed from your labels, freed from the captivity of your ruins, and with this hope, free to rebuild. She prays, and I will continue. God, I want to trade my ashes for garland, my labels for hope, my captivity for freedom. Help me to shift my perspective and to rebuild my identity in this hope. And God, we pray this morning. Uh, there's news coming in. I, it's a little bit unclear what's going on. But it seems like Russia is doing some type of invasion into Ukraine. Maybe just into part of Ukraine. Maybe the whole of Ukraine. And God, we pray for peace. We pray for peace. Uh, we don't know that whole situation there. We don't know what's going on. But we pray, pray, pray for wisdom for leaders and for leadership. We give you thanks for our leaders and we pray for them. We pray for President Biden, uh, for Majority Leader Schumer, for Speaker Pelosi, and for wisdom in this hour. God, we also pray for those who are undergoing uh, medical issues. We've had uh, a number of things brought to our attention that are not able to be revealed quite yet. Uh, people are dealing with things and trying to figure things out. So there are several items that have been brought to us. And when you're watching this, folks, you know that we're praying for them. And they're not uh, divulged to the whole congregation quite yet. But we're praying for them and for you. And we pray for that. And we pray as well for Claude and Kathy and Scott and Tatiana as Claude continues uh, fighting with cancer. We continue to pray for... Uh, others that are a bit under the weather, not feeling good. Uh, we continue to pray for grace and mercy for Greg Robertson and the death of his mother. And God, we give you thanks that we can pray and come alongside others. God, we pray, 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 and let us continually pray today. And thank you for the blessing of the birds that are chirping. It's wonderful to hear that. We give you thanks, as always, praying in Jesus' powerful, strong holy and precious name. Amen. So friends, just a couple things as we move into today. Today, I said it is Tuesday. We have staff meeting today at church. Tomorrow night, we have our leadership team meeting that was shifted from last week to this week. So pray for that, uh, for decisions that are being made. And just pray. You know what? Look through the directory today. Look through your computer. Look through your contact list. Just pray for a few people today. All right? Just do that. And remember, we are free, and we are free to rebuild. Maybe you're in a downtime. Maybe you can start rebuilding with God's help, the Holy Spirit's power. Rebuild a little bit. We give thanks for you today, and we thank you for your ministry and for your participation in the ministry at Christ Covenant Church. Friends, be a blessing to someone, and don't forget to receive a blessing, as I have received a blessing now from that bird chirping all around. Have a great day, folks.